I mean, I've never seen a bat that looked like that. I mean, it looks like a piece of furniture, to be honest with you. Just the way that the ball springs off the bat. It doesn't sound weird. I mean, it sounds fantastic. There's a lot of bats that are real light out there that feel light, but that just snap in your hands. This felt real light as well, too. And um, I mean, I was getting real good spring off the ball. And uh, south bat, in terms of what it is and what it offers a player at this point, in terms of the density factor with uh, in comparison to maple and ash, it's either just as hard as maple or harder. I've been hitting with it for a couple months now. Uh, in the batting cage and live BP and I've got to tell you that it's really the way that the, these bats are balanced and the way that the ball comes off the bat, it's, there's really no comparison. You can talk about Marucci bats, uh, Tomcat, X-Bat, Sand bats, um, there's all the professional grade bats that are out there even though the Guayabi is a different type of a new wood coming from Argentina, it's something that is just as quality if not better than what's out there in terms of the competition. As soon as we got the south bats in the cage, that sound was very apparent. It sounded like an explosion as the ball was coming off. And the kids look at each other and look at themselves and say, I'm hitting the ball harder than I'm used to hitting it. It's almost like they were still hitting with aluminum bats. Everyone's looking for an advantage. And you see us using south bats, using guayabi wood. People are going to jump on it right away. See our success, maybe it translates to their success too. The early signs right now point to the, this bat being one of the top bats in the industry.